Hey guys, and welcome back to Voltaire's Nightmare. And as always, I'm joined by Lambert, Zippy, and Arumba. How is it going, gentlemen? Not bad. I can purchase an ability. <gasps> hey. Vassal Force I... Limit Contribution plus 33%. Whoa. Ooh, pretty good. That would be kind of solid. I might actually be expanding my borders this episode. Oh, I'm actually going to lose this battle, so I'm just going to try and peace out. Uh, give me a relationship slot. No, fuck you, fuck you. Whoever, give me one day left. I can't take it. Can I take it? I want to take it. Fuck. Yeah, there's a battle ongoing. He's not going to be too happy. No, no, no. Am I going to get greedy again? It's going to happen again. Probably. Sorry, I can take the problem. Yeah. Uh... Huh. Give me all the money as well. Give me some of the money. This much money? The peep. The people of Waldeck want it to be known that we're going to build a castle, and it's going to be the tallest in the all of the land. It's going to be... Is Mexico going to pay good... for it? No. Of course not. <laughs> oh. I took the province. I pieced out. I lost about 2,000 men in that battle. Alright, so my force limit now is 11. Wow! That's so big! Okay, so that force limit contribution gave me one. Oh no, I'm losing money. Why am I losing money? Oh, uh, right. I have three advisors. That was supremely underwhelming. I gotta say, I am not whelmed. Not in the slightest. I'm so fucking confused as to why they just pieced out there. Because they Ooh. are a big bag of dicks. Who pieced out? Luxembourg just pieced out. And you didn't want them to, or...? Well, they were on my... On your side? Side, yeah. Maybe they were, uh... Was their capital occupied, or...? But yeah, it just, it just got occupied. That must be why. Sorry, right. it's okay. We expanded. I will join you yes. in the whole castle building thing. Well, look at you. Whoa. We've had three provinces now. Yeah. There's Just another the uh, Wait, another pretty good you one got there. Three provinces. Mm-hmm. That's not on yeah, okay, so you've got three provinces, but your actual territory is expanded like five hundred percent. Yes. <laughs> My love heart is no more. Oh yeah, we were we were meant to mention the love heart. I don't think we ever did. I it looked like a moose or something. You don't moose. Ooh, yeah. got Your government might have a hard time managing all that land. Managing such moose. Yeah, although it's like one city and a lot of countryside, so I think it'd be all right. Yeah, so I only Apart took six this dev. Freaking border guard province over here, little Leuven. Lolo Yeah, what the hell's up with that? Look, they've got like five independent patches of land spread out. Thuringia wishes to hire Condottieri. Ooh. Did you see the minus 0.1 monthly war exhaustion blender bonus? It's massive. Double the benefit from optimism in vanilla innovative ideas. Yeah, I, I chose the vassal thing because I've got four vassals and I thought, you know what? That sounds awesome. Just turned out to kind of not be that. Well, it should have given you one more force limit, right? Most of the force limit you're getting is from the raw one base force limit per vassal. Yeah, I didn't do the math. Say it with me: four times point three three equals one point three three. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Wait, no, no, no. Every the, the, one of my is, vassals is, is giving me 1.6. Yeah, so, okay, the, the way the math works in vanilla is that one, you get one base force limit, plus you get 10% uh, of their land force limit. So, check to see what the subject force limit base is. I think, I think it's, every nation gets four in this mod, and I don't remember what subjects are because I don't have any of them. So, when you look at their, like, force limit, look at their, um, F1, F3 to look at your vassals and then like look at look at one of them and just see what their force limit is. Or I can do it if you... Um, their force limit... Could you hover over it? Which part do you hover uh, over to see their force limit? The manpower number. I'll hover over their manpower on that interface, it'll tell you. Mm, 
two. Okay, so you're getting one base plus 10% of two from each subject equals 1.2, and then that 1.2 is multiplied by 1.33. So 1.2 times 1.33 equals 1.596, which rounds up to 1.6. Nice. Plus, they have a tiny, tiny... Well, it actually doesn't round up. It rounds down to the nearest full integer, but... Or to the nearest tenth integer, but you're getting extra because they have some actual development as well. Which is why you get 1.6. Fair enough. Ooh, I might be able to get some land this episode. Are you going to lose it again? No, maybe. No, 25% uh, aggressive expansion. Oh, yeah, this is fine. Let's go paid like 60 ducats for Condottiere. Nice. Just very careful not to take land that's not mine. Are you involved in this war as well? No, my old alliance. They broke up. Uh... Poor baby. That's what happens when you offer someone... Uh... Is this all cologne? What the hell? Oh my god, I'm gonna I'm gonna vomit. This border gore is disgusting. You're gonna flom it? He's gonna flom it. Vomit. No. Oh yeah, vomit? No, that makes more sense. And yeah, no, I'm gonna vomit, but in chocolate factory. Or whatever. You're gonna vomit in a chocolate factory. What 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 what, what you know what I mean. I how, have however, no however fucking you... clue what you mean. <laughs> Roald Dahl. I don't. I don't pronounce his name. Roald Dahl. Yeah. Roald what about Dahl. him? He, he writes funny words. Like in Char Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Uh huh. The flim, the flim flams, and the floozles. Don't, don't drink the, the huzzit because it'll make you flum it. I think you've been drinking the fucking Kool Aid. He's, He's doing that thing again, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Zippy's doing that thing where he just keeps like talking. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking dare you talk. God I just don't know where these words are coming from, though. <laughs> he said, how are you guys not drawing this, these lines that I am? I just heard, I, I, I'm like, out of one ear, paying attention, and it's something about, did I just hear you say flummet? Flim flams and, and jim jams and shit. Lambert yeah. just heard me say vomit. He thought I said flummet, and I went on to a tangent about uh, Charlie the Chocolate Factory. Yeah. I see. Yep. Mm hmm. I have to take this shit. <laughs> flim flam. I was invited, damn it. You flim flam your flummets. He flummoxes me. No, you can't. That's a real word. You, you, you flimomox me? I don't fucking care. Whatever. So. What he's saying is that you can't use real words. You gotta make them up. Exactly. You gotta lose Carol it. Oh yeah, the Condottieri is, is a great thing that everyone should always do because it's fucking awesome and gets you lots of money. You didn't know this until recently? I knew it, but I just never kind of did it. Because it's always been, oh, we can't access your capital. It's like, I've got fucking boats. It doesn't matter. I'll, I'll, I'll get there. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I, I wish they would just get rid of that restriction. I think that what should happen is as soon as you rent out Knotieri, they should black flag your army. Yeah. You should just be able to do it, black flag it, and let it march there. Like, having to ask for military access the, all the way there is dumb. I think. I don't know. It Yarps. makes sense to me. You, you have to ask for permission to march through some guy's lands. If I can be totally honest, uh... One of the main reasons why I chose the country I chose is because of the uh, national ideas, plus 50% available mercenaries, which applies to your conductary limit. I wanted to be able to rent out lots of troops. I think it's fun. That's what I wanted to do this campaign. Yeah. I also picked my country because of its uh, national ideas. Like, conductary are great because I can do something silly here. Like, my ally, Hess, is in a war. I can uh, rent out conductary to his enemy and attack my ally. Even though I want to stay allied with him, I just, you know... Also want to weaken him, so I can take his clay. Oh, Stijo, have you looked at our uh, reforms? Tier three combat heresy plus ten percent morale of armies. That's kind yeah, of got nice. It. I only yeah, just that's what got it. About. I only just <laughs> got it. This is very nice. That's why I went to war. Like, oh no, I lost a military one? leader, but it's not the one I cared about. So it's fine. Oh, 
it's Bay Ruth, my old rival. I'm just desieging provinces in Thuringia, so I'm losing no manpower and then just, you know, I'm, I'm doing my part. Was mines always in Axfeld? What? Mines is now in Axfeld. I don't feel like that was always the case. It must have been because it's their only core, but whatever. Hmm. Nassau's allied. Or Zippy, you're attacking Hess right now, my ally, huh? Uh. Indirectly? Am I? Yeah, you went after what? Runkel? Yeah. And <laughs> they're allied to Hess. Can... Well, you can't be pulled in, can you? Oh, no, I don't care. I, I'm just, I was just observing. I'm not... Don't worry. Relax. I was, I was, I was very careful to, to no, make just, sure. You calm down. It's fine. Relax. You're good. You're good. It's okay. okay. Yeah, but is he okay? That is the is question. Is he, though? Is he? Is he? I, I don't know. Should be. I'm at 67% or score. Oh, Hess will actually piece me out. What is this? Oh. Thuringia, what are you doing with your arm? Oh, you're sieging. Well, I guess I will go and grab myself some loot. That's really nice. They actually came to me with uh, surrender terms. That were Did you decent. accept them? Oh, yeah. I, mean, I, why I didn't just send your own terms right away. Because I wasn't. I never fought them. <laughs> it's just like getting shit for free. But you could get more. Eh. It's fine. Fair enough. Was one of the they... conditions that they would break their alliance? No, but they are giving me war repar war rep war reparations. Uh, look, look, Thuringia, don't be disappointed. I'm winning the war for you. As they will yeah, you. They don't always see it that way. You know you can do some really sneaky stuff, Zippy? Sorry, mm -hmm. Lambert, both of you. I'll tell, I'll tell I'll tell Zippy too. I meant to say Lambert. <laughs> uh, have you ever... Okay, if you don't have someone set as a rival, but you want to attack them, then you can wait until they are at war, and then you can like rent out Kondatieri to their enemy. So you send one troop, just one Kondatieri, have it go occupy and besiege the capital so that the person that you want to attack's ally declines the defensive call due to occupied and besieged provinces. Sounds Basically, solid. you could just use one troop to trick the AI into not honoring defensive calls, and it's fun. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Yeah. Fine, Thuringia, Oops. I will help you I just siege something out. for you, so I don't know why you're super salty with me. Look at me. Pacing that one guy out actually over the war score. Damn it. I could probably take him. They have less morale, less everything, more numbers. I feel like I should win. Alright, he's happy with me now. I'm fucking off. I'm gonna go loot no, again. Backpedal. No, oh, and now he's pissed off again because I left. You know what? It's fine. You can cancel the condottieri. I'll just Oof. give condottieri to someone else. It's been a while since I've decisively won a battle. And I completed the mission. What? Oh, high income! Yes! It's also worth mentioning that just because you don't have the alert or Contadieri doesn't necessarily mean that there aren't people who would pay you for the, for your troops. Yeah, I've been using the, uh, the, what, build menu to look for renters? Build menu? Or whatever mm -hmm. this thing is. Production interface? The, the diplomacy tab? No? Is that... Can I do that? Mm. Oh, no, I'm sorry. That's not what I've been using. I've been using the ledger. I'm sorry. Right, I was going to say, if, if there is a <laughs> if there's a diplomacy op option in the macro builder for auto, like, green map mode for who would accept Kondateria, I would be pissed, because 
<laughs> That'd be amazing, and I didn't know it was there. Wait, what's that? How are you finding out if people could take condos so, again? You go to the ledger, and then you go to page number 47 to see who's at war. And there's oftentimes people on one side or another that will oh, accept okay. Kondotiri, even if they don't show up as an alert at the top of your screen. You hey, I can get an ability! I have now got high income. I have just yeah. started building things, and now I can get them cheaper. Yeah. But I've already started the building, and... Well, I think I can Well, now I'll be finished cards. faster, so yay. What percentage do you need exhausting. to be before you can cancel for free? Conotary? 18 months. No, no, no uh, the... Construction. Uh, construction, yeah. I, I don't want to click the cancel building 10 and lose money. When I'll you cancel a building, it prompts you. Uh, it prompts okay. you if you're sure. And it tells you if you'll get your money back or not. But not all interfaces in this game are that way, so, you know. Yeah, for example, the there's... Well, I mean, there's no the confirmation over. for cancelling your colonists, for example. Just instantaneous. Thringia is disappointed in me. The war is over. What do you expect me to do? <laughs> Do more. Big bag of dicks. Yeah, obviously. obviously, do more. Why aren't you doing more? Are you fighting? How come I can oh, never no. find... Like, no one ever wants my fucking condo diary. I can find someone and... explain why it works. So, uh, I have the equal highest um, morale right now in the game. Will Leech not the hire your condo diary? Um, so, I mean, they will, but for, like, free. <laughs> oh. I think that prestige, man. Thringia has cancelled the Kondotieri. So, for example, I just found E-R Bach. E-R-B-A-C-H -E is the nation, and they would accept Kondotieri at a rate of 1.2 ducats a month. Which is, sorry, not 1.2 ducats, 1.2x their maintenance price. Yeah, so the way you do it, like, they'll never look, accept anything over 0%. Yeah, so look in the ledger, uh, find find wars, and then I usually look for wars that are close to 0% war score, because those are the ones that are, there's a modifier that nations will get for acceptance called war balance looks good. So if they're winning the war, they don't need them, so they won't take them. But find something that's like a new war, and then pick one of the sides, find the nation that's bigger usually, that has more money. And then make sure you have military access. You gotta check. It'll say like minus one thousand doesn't have military access, but you can get military access, and then they would accept. So our you air Gerhard monster. is greedy. Fuck you, Gerhard. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I just got one that's one point two x. Yep. So if you want to, you know, murder people, you definitely can. Yes! Righteous vengeance against the nation of Arnsberg. Hate them. <laughs> Let's kill them. Okay, so what do I do with my... <laughs> what do I actually do with my troops? Nothing. <laughs> well, uh, it depends. So what I like to do, I, I find it much more enjoyable. But yeah, you could just do nothing for 18 months, then cancel the Kanatiri before they get mad and tell everyone that they don't you shouldn't be trusted. If you don't do anything and they end up canceling the contract, then you'll have like a five-year hidden modifier that makes it so no one will accept kind of hear from you anymore. Ah. Yeah, but, I sold them to um, Oldenburg, who is at war with shit. Try this, Tijo. This is, this is actually... It gives you something to do when you can't expand yourself, right? Uh, press F to toggle the allow armies to attach to you. Okay. Everyone on your side will come and, and like come attach to you and then just pretend like you're in the war and they'll follow you around and you can go siege the right provinces and take the right fights and you can make the AI win wars that they'll otherwise probably lose. I gave Condottieri against Saxony. That was maybe not smart of you. No, it probably wasn't. Oh. It's fine, I'll, I'll just... I mean, I can't move around because he's got forts and it's projecting zone of control into my own land so I can't even siege the unprotected provinces I'm confused well, like, are the yellow ones the people who I'm against yeah yes. yellow is yes. it's, okay. it's showing you that you are hostile to them. like picture CK2 you're hostile to them 
but not your normal army. It's only the Kondateri that are hostile to that. So if you have other troops, then they're safe. They should have okay. your Kondateri allies in green. Yeah, it, it can get kind of confusing using Kondateri, annoyingly. Okay. Well, I just want to fight as my Kondateri, so... Yay! Yeah. Well done! All right. Well, it's uh, already that time now. All right. So, as always, guys, <laughs> thanks a lot for watching. I've been CGU, but also, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. See you later. Bye-bye. See you soon.